ClickUp just released an awesome new feature called custom commands. And these can be a huge time saver for your team. So in this short tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to set these up as well as provide you some examples of what I'd recommend. But before we get started, if you want ClickUp's highest rated and first ever solutions partner to help you streamline your operations inside of ClickUp, go to zenpilot.com slash call and book a call with one of our experts. We've helped over 3,000 different teams streamline their operations in ClickUp, and we love to do the same for you. Or if you're not ready for that yet, I highly recommend you go and download our 56-page How to Use ClickUp Guide that'll teach you everything you need to know when it comes to using ClickUp. Now, with that said, let's get to the tutorial. So let's jump into ClickUp here and talk about first, really, the use cases of ClickUp custom commands and how we use them here at Zempilot internally. So custom commands are very similar to Text Expander, which is a tool that we've leveraged a lot. And in terms of how Text Expander works, is essentially what you can do is type in a couple letters on your keyboard and out pops this nice email template that can be edited or even just a couple of quick links like an affiliate link um, or a pitch deck or a meeting link that maybe your team is looking for. And Text Expander or ClickUp Custom Commands just make it that much easier to go ahead and find that. So a great example of this is a pitch deck. And so maybe your sales and marketing team, they're working closely aligned together, uh, but the sales team just jumping into these sales conversations and always asking marketing, hey, where's the pitch deck? Where's the pitch deck? Where's the pitch deck? Maybe they didn't bookmark it. They don't have it saved anywhere and they're always asking for it or the latest copy. So what you could do with custom commands is essentially you can give them a very easy route to go and find that on their own. So how I would use custom commands in ClickUp is either A, you come here and you type S on your keyboard. If you're using hotkeys, if you have hotkeys turned on, I can hit S. Or if I'm a Mac user, I can also do command K just like that to pull up my command center. In addition, also just come to the top of your screen here, this nice big search bar, click on that. That's going to pull up the same exact menu. So as you can see here, it says search or run a command. Down here, it tells me I could type the slash to view the available commands there. So I'll go here, and as you can see, these are all the commands that either I've built out um, inside of ClickUp or that uh, ClickUp has natively um, in here as well. So these are just ways that you can easily navigate from uh, one thing to another or open certain things or again, open links and, and things like that, just ways to save you time. So again, going back to the example of a pitch deck, to go find that, it's so easy for me. All I need to do, again, Command K, just like that, type in pitch. As we'll see, the pitch deck um, opens up right here. That's my custom command. I go ahead and hit enter and out pops that pitch deck. So very easy for me to go ahead and find that if I'm on the sales team. In addition, another great example of this is maybe you wanna go search for a certain HubSpot contact. You wanna do that um, inside of ClickUp. It's super easy to do that as well. I just hit S or again, Command K. I can just type in HubSpot just like this. Search any search for any HubSpot contact. That's my custom custom command. I just hit enter right there. And the cool part of this too is you can also search inside of ClickUp for something. So you can actually add a query at the end of that URL that allows me to do this. So now let's say I'm working um, on the Dunner Mifflin account and I'm looking for Michael Scott's email address and I know it's in HubSpot. It's not in ClickUp. I can come here, type in Michael Scott. That's going to open HubSpot up directly. And as we can see here, we have the Michael Scott contact with his email address right there for me to go ahead and send him an email. So that's another cool example, as you can see here that adds the query to the end here of Michael Scott. So I can edit my custom command to also allow me to do that, which is super, super helpful. So in terms of setting that up, now let's jump into that conversation. This is very, very easy in how you would do this. Um, all you need to do is go back to that menu here. Um, as we'll see at the bottom right of our screen, we have our settings. Click on settings, you have general, you have sources, and you also have your commands there. So commands is where all of my commands are going to be created and living. Um, as you can see, it's super easy to go add one, just click add command there, or right here to go ahead and add a new one. And as you can see, you have three different options of certain types of custom commands that you can set up. So you have links, you have clipboards, and then you also have the cloud option as well. So I'm going to focus on clipboard and link. Clipboard it is going to be a little bit different. This is not one that I just showed you. Essentially, Clipboard, instead of you opening something up directly, like with that Pitch Deck example or HubSpot, this is just going to copy some text to your Clipboard that then you could paste um, somewhere else. So super helpful there 
as well. But in terms of creating these, let's go ahead and show you how to create a clipboard option. All I'm going to do is click right there. And the action is just going to be copy text to clipboard. This one's pretty basic, but it can be super helpful. So for a great example, maybe what you need is just a way to go ahead and copy someone's meeting link um, to your clipboard because maybe your salesperson is super busy and everyone keeps needing their meeting link to send that out to certain people, maybe on LinkedIn for some prospecting. And they want to be able to easily find that. Um, what I can do again, I can come here to my meeting link. Let's just copy um, this right there like that, paste that um, in directly there. I can add an icon here if I wanted to. And the cool part too, if I come back here, if you wanted to add some sort of initial text for like a call to action or something like that, um, I could do that. Like you can book a meeting with Jeff here. So I can add that here as well. So if I am sending this to someone on LinkedIn or via email, that's gonna take and copy this whole text to clipboard. So it has sort of that initial copy um, with the call to action and then the link there as well. So after that, then I'm done with that. I can add a, an icon here just to make this easier to find. I can name it. So we'll just do Jeff meeting link, just like this. Very easy. Make sure you have a good naming convention as well, just so you don't get these all um, mixed up. And then I can add a description if I want, and then also an alias. So the alias is helpful because again, if you want to shorten this up right now, if I search for Jeff meeting link, that'll pop up. And again, if I can just type in Jeff and that's the only thing that comes up, then that'll be easy. But as you add more and more, more of these, then maybe it's a little bit harder. So you can add the alias to basically shorten that up. So maybe I just wanted um, JM or something like that just to make it short and sweet, easier to find, easier to have that documented for the team to be able to search and not have to type the whole thing, just uh, a short couple letters. You can also add that in, but you don't need to. You don't need to do the description or the alias. You can just leave it as you have here. Um, in addition, you can add email templates. Again, this could be multi -line, uh, multiple lines of text. It doesn't just have to be one. So feel free to do whatever you really want to here. Um, it's just super helpful to, again, get this copy text uh, to my clipboard. Um, after that, all I'm going to need to do is go ahead and create the command just like that. And now your command is ready to be used. So a couple other things to note here is once you create these, um, oftentimes they are going to be private. So you just need to make sure if you want your whole workspace to be able to see that you go ahead and open these up to everyone. Otherwise it's just going to be a custom command for you personally. So just make sure you go ahead and open that up to everyone. If you want everyone to be able to use that, though you can have private custom commands if that makes sense to you as well. So after that's done again, all I'm going to need to do hit search just like this. And then I can look for, um, the Jeff meeting link just like that. And what that's going to do now is it's going to copy that text in my clipboard. And if I were to copy it in here, you'll see what that looks like just like that. So you can book a meeting with Jeff here and then the meeting link is right there. So again, I could do that with an email template. I could do that with um, a bunch of other different pieces of text there. Um, the other thing to note, if we go back to this, to my settings, uh, just so you are aware of when I actually wanna add that query to the end of this, what I am able to do is if I'm in this command, and again, this one is going to be um, not the clipboard, but the link command, but I wanna show you this example. I'll go ahead and edit this. So what you would do to the end of that, as it gives you this example here, just make sure you have this listed out with the query, make sure it lines up with that. The query equals whatever that'll then be edited to, as you show in my example, um, Michael Scott. So that's how this would be um, changed up just like that, this text will become this. So that is another thing that you can do. Again, you could search for HubSpot contacts. You could search through any other tool that might be helpful. That's just something else that you can end to the end of your link um, custom command. So that's really the main examples. A couple other ones I'd recommend are, again, your email templates. So maybe you had a good like close the loop um, example here where your sales team needed an email template. Um, again, that's going to copy that to your clipboard down here. So that's something else you could do, but there's a bunch of different things you can do with custom commands, figure out what those links are that your team really needs access to get those all built out in custom commands, have a good naming convention and use it to help your team save one day per week. And there you have it. That's how you set up ClickUp custom commands for your business. So if you like this video, you found it valuable, go ahead and hit the like button and hit subscribe because we're going to continue to deliver weekly videos to help you get the most out of ClickUp. Or if you have any questions or feedback or comments in general, leave those in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you.
And remember, if you want to build a more productive, profitable, and healthy team by streamlining your operations and ClickUp, go to zempilot.com slash call and book a call with one of our experts. We are here to help. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Can I make no more? I can't replace it. Trying hard just not to waste it. It's about time. It's about time. Yeah, it's about time. It's about time.